Welcome back to Perry Unlikely. If you like the content today that you watch, consider subscribing and also do me a favor, hit the like button. It helps the YouTube algorithm. So look, the point of today's video is just to try and help answer a couple of questions that I've seen out there. And the number one most asked question that I see at this point is about an error for insufficient balance. Now that is all over the place. So I'm gonna try to help you address that. Also, we're gonna talk about collateral real quick. And then beyond that, just canceling your order. So first of all, for collateral, and I'm speaking about the NAMI wallet because that's what I'm familiar with. Those who use the CC Vault wallet, please feel free to chime in. But as far as the NAMI wallet, what you need to understand first of all, collateral is what helps you to interact with the smart contracts. So if you want to do a swap, you know, that's based on smart contracts, what you need to do is you're going to have to set collateral. Now, NAMI wallet recommends five ADA. So it's really easy to set that. So to set that in the upper right hand corner above the send button is what looks like a robot. And you can change this to different colors. It's basically your avatar in the wallet. And when you click on that, you're gonna see the collateral button. When you click on that, it pretty much from that point is self-explanatory. You put in your password. And if you go with the five ADA, there you go. So that is how you set the collateral. And then you'll be able to swap and do transactions on Sunday swap. Now, something to make note of is when you initially set that collateral, if I set the collateral and then I go try to do swaps right away, what I noticed is if you're in Sunday swap or on the platform, and let's just say you had 100 ADA in your wallet, you set the collateral, that should mean that you have 95 ADA available to swap. Now you can always get that collateral back, so that's not an issue. But what I noticed right off the bat, after setting the collateral, Sunday still shows 100. Well, that's an issue because it's like going into a restaurant and you're going to get a $5 sandwich, you order, and then you find out you don't have $5. No burger for you. Not a problem if you're not trying to swap up to that limit, but that's something to think about. Now, it will eventually level out because I've seen it do that. Now, I don't know if it's got to sync up on chain or what actually makes it take that amount of time. Um, and not even sure how long it will take, but I have noticed that difference. But eventually, that number will sync up. So then you'll look in Sunday Swap and it'll actually be 95 because five of it is collateral. So that's something that's important to remember. So for the insufficient balance, that's really a greater topic. When it comes to that, I'm trying to simplify this as easy as possible. I'm sure there'll be some questions. But ultimately, the reason I touched on the collateral thing is because that could cause an insufficient balance. Okay, so for this insufficient balance issue, let's use 50 ADA um, this time for the example. I've got 50 ADA that I can actually use in there. So this has nothing to do with collateral. 50 that I can actually swap with. Now, if I go to do a swap and let's just say I want to actually swap 50 ADA for um, the Sunday token. Well, you have to actually have ADA to cover the fees. So you're not going to have enough in there. It's not free. So you got to remember that. But even if you were cognizant of that and said, okay, well, I want to swap 45 ADA in the Sunday tokens. Well, then again, let's say the fees are six ADA. Well, you're one short. And to fix that, you're going to have to send another ADA into your wallet. Or I would go ahead and do two or three to be on the safe side because transactions can change, obviously. But the point is, a lot of these insufficient balance issues that you're probably seeing, you probably aren't taking into account the fees. And if you don't have enough to cover the fees, then you're not going to have enough. So it's saying that it's insufficient to cover the transaction. I didn't want to go overboard on this. And what I'm going to do in the description, because I searched and searched and searched, there is a forum that I think did a good job of illustrating it and answering it. So literally right in the description box, you're going to see it. I'm going to put a link to it. That should help show you pictures and the verbiage on how to work through this issue. 
If that doesn't get the job done, certainly leave me a comment. And you can leave me a comment regardless. But I just wanted to supply that to you to hopefully help you get through that. If you covered everything from looking at that and you're still having issues, like I said, leave me a comment. We will figure out how to get that fixed. But it's just important to remember there's a good chance that you're not taking in the fees into account and you don't have enough to cover the transaction. So that's why you're getting insufficient balance error. And then the other thing that I want to touch on, right, is canceling your order. So different people have had all kinds of experiences as far as canceling the order. Now, what I did, I had two orders. So I went to cancel one and yes, it failed. Now, I think we've all seen that. You got to remember, just like when you're going to try to process an order and network congestion can affect it. Well, it can also affect trying to cancel an order. So that's nothing outside the ordinary. But what I did, I literally tried over and over as fast as possible, multiple times, and I had to keep on putting in my password. And then it finally reached a point where it hit the screen saying canceling order. At that point, don't do anything. Now it could take 15, 30, 45 minutes. Don't do anything. I came back and boom, the order was canceled. And I ended up doing it again. Now, the reason that I canceled my order has nothing to do with me not believing in Sunday Swap. I still believe in the protocol. I think there's some bugs to work out. The reason I did it was when I look at the price that my orders were set at, I wanted to refocus in on what I think the price will drop to because I do think it's going to drop. And I will explain that in another video why. Um, I think there's a couple of reasons, but I think that's also a good thing. I think things will level out. And at that point, I will assess it and decide, am I going to get back in, which I believe I will, but where will I get back in? So that's the thing that I'm thinking about. But as far as me canceling the order has nothing to do with my belief in Sunday swap. Still think this project is fundamental to the growth of Cardano's ecosystem. So those are a couple of things that I wanted to touch on. What I will ask is if the information that I provided you about that insufficient balance is helpful at all, even as far as just reading through in the forum that I post in the description, please let me know. Um, that way I know if it's not helpful. If it's not helpful, then I'm gonna go back at it, but I'm gonna make sure to get you the answers you need and I'll continue to do that. So as you continue to go through this and you have questions that you don't feel you can get answered, leave me a comment. If I can answer it, I'll answer it. If I can't, then I will search for it until we get it answered. Thank you for watching the content. Hit the bell for notification if you want to stay up to date on the latest content that I drop. Like I said earlier, do me a favor. It really helps the algorithm. Hit the like button and consider subscribing. Why not? Also, the best thing you can do to help my channel, I would say, is just to share my content with a friend. Thanks to each and every one of you all that do that. Check me out on Twitter. I'll be posting more and more. It's very simple, at Perry Unlikely. And I will see you next time. Thank you.